My name is Akshay Madan and I work as a developer relations engineer at Maxim AI. We all want to build agents, but the focus should be to build fast, efficient and cost effective agents. And for that purpose, you need to invest some time on your prompt engineering step. You should be creating various versions of your prompts and then see which prompt works best for your use case. And Maxim can help you achieve this goal. So currently I'm on the Maxim dashboard. Go to the prompts and over here you can see you can create single prompts or you can run a prompt comparison. So you have two options. Either you can directly go to the prompt comparisons and over here you can see we already uh, created a prompt comparison for HR Copilot and you can see that we imported multiple versions of our prompt, used various types of LLMs from different providers, used different prompts, provided some context and then ran a comparison. So you can also start by clicking on this plus button, create a prompt comparison and create four versions of your prompt and just uh, run your comparison. But most of the times we don't directly jump to the comparison. We first work with one prompt, two prompts, test the output ourselves, and then we would like to run a comparison across the versions. So in order to work according to that flow, you can go to the prompts, click on single prompt and over here, let's create a prompt and we will be creating multiple versions of it, which we will be importing in our prompt comparison run. Now to give you some context, in this video, we are going to create some prompt versions for customer support agent for a company called TechEase. I've already provided the context over here so that we can save some time. And I have four versions of the prompt that will be used to guide the LLM to work as a customer support agent for this company TechEase. Now in this context, you can see we have some information about the company, like information about the refund policy of the company, some of the domain areas of the company. So this context will act as a data source for the customer support agent. Let's see the first prompt. You are a customer support AI for TechEase. More about TechEase. Then I've created a variable which are very easy to work with in Maxim platform. And over here the variable is referring to this context. Answer customer questions about the company and its software. Great. Now let's go on the Maxim platform. Let's create a prompt. Let's call it as TechEase customer support prompt. Prompt description can be sample for now. And let's click on create. So name should be less than 30 characters. So let me remove this and let's click on create. Awesome. So we have created a prompt. Now we have to work with all of these four prompts, which are just the versions of my main customer support agent prompt, right? So my target is to find out which prompt, which LLM works best for my use case. So I'll copy this first prompt. And as soon as I paste it over here, it found that I'm working with a variable context. So it created a variable for me. Now over here, we have two ways or three ways to work with the variables. You can either attach a data source and that data source can come from via an API or directly a file, but that we're going to see in the next video. For this video, I'll be working with the static data. I'll be directly filling the context over here manually. So I'll just copy the context and paste it over here. For this prompt, I want to work with GPT-4. So let's select GPT-4 from the LLM list. And then if you are working with a prompt tool, you can select that. But for our use case, we are not going to work with a prompt tool. Temperature, I want to set 0.9. Maximum tokens, I want to set is 1024. And then you can also work with top P and some advanced parameters. These advanced parameters can be super helpful when you're running the uh, comparisons across the parameters. Now this is ready. Now I can just click on publish version. This is V1 of my prompt. And I can say this is v1 in the description and I can publish this version. As soon as you do that, this prompt is ready to work with and also it is ready for the prompt comparison run. Great. In order to test it, you can write a user message and you can see the response. But for now, let's create the four versions of our prompt and then directly see the response in the prompt comparison run. So I'll copy the second prompt version and I'll paste it over here. And you can see the context is going to remain the same. And this time I want to keep the temperature as 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And let's keep the maximum token as 1024. But let's decrease the top P to 0 0.9. And let's keep the parameters as it is. Now let's click on publish version. This is V2. Let's publish the version. Awesome. The second version is also ready. Now let's do the same for version 3 and version 4. This time I want to keep the temperature much lower, 0 0.6. Maximum tokens 1024, let's work with 0 0.8. Top P. And this time I want to work with 
Gemini Flash. So let's work with Gemini Flash. Uh, this is light version of the Gemini Flash. This is Gemini 2 Flash. Awesome. Uh, let's click on publish version. This is V3. Great. Let's create the fourth version. Let's work with uh, Cloud Sonnet 3.7 latest. And let's keep the temperature as 1 and maximum token 1024. And let's publish this version. This is V4. Great. So we have created the four versions of our prompt. Now we can go to the prompt comparison section and we can create a comparison run for our versions. Again, over here, I'm going to create a prompt comparison, a uh, new prompt comparison. And this will be for tech ease uh, prompt comparisons. Description can be this is sample for now. Let's click on create. Over here, you can see that I've got two columns. I can increase the columns. So I'm, I, I'm going to work with four versions. So I'll have four columns. And now let's uh, start importing the prompts. Now over here, you can see tech is customer support uh, agent prompt. I have four versions of my prompt. So let's start getting them one by one. So this is V1. And for this, yes, I want to work with GPT-4. Uh, context, I need to provide the context. So let's copy the context paste it. So over here, I have to yes, manually uh, paste the context uh, for all of these four versions. But in the next video, I'll be teaching you how to uh, directly import your context via an API or file and that will make our life a lot easier. You can also work with the configuration. But as you can see, whatever configuration I had set in the prompt section, it is already imported. And I want to keep as it is. So this is done. Uh, and let's just save it once. Now let's work with the second uh, version v2. And for this one, I want to work with GPT 4.0. Oh. So let's select GPT 4.0. Oh. Uh, let's copy the context from here, paste it over here. Configuration I want to keep as it is. I had al already set it in the prompt section. Now let's work with the third version, Gemini Flash, uh, Gemini 2 Flash. Uh, let's paste the context. Configuration I want to keep as it is. And now let's work with the last version. So V4, I'm going to work with Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. Let's paste the context. Configuration I had already set. So let's click on save. Great. Now my four versions are ready, as you can see. And we are all set to run it and test it how it works on the user input. So let's say I'm a user, I'm a customer, and I purchase a software from Techies. So I'll say, from you, let's say uh, nine days ago, get a refund, refund and cancel my subscription. Please help me with it. You can see the customer is asking for a refund and cancellation of the subscription uh, for the product which he bought nine days ago. But as you can see in the context, the company has a refund policy allowing cancellations within the first seven days of purchase. So ideally, the model uh, should come up with a valid response which tells the user about this policy, but also allows the user to cancel the subscription subscription for future payments. So let's see what we get for all of these four. We have to compare the latency, cost, and uh, we are also going to evaluate the inference on our own. So let's run it and let's see. And I can see tokens consumed are 403, uh, uh, 131, 131 tokens are the completion tokens, 272 are the input tokens. Uh, cost is point, uh, four zeros and eight dollars. Uh, latency is 1398 millisecond, which is very less, approximately 1.3 seconds, which is great. Uh, now let's try to read the responses one by one. I'm sorry to hear that you're not satisfied with the subscription according to refund policy. Cancellation and refunds are eligible within the first seven days of purchase. As your purchase was made nine days ago, I'm afraid it fails outside the refund window, which is okay. Uh, good response. However, Techies is committed to ensuring customer satisfaction. Could you please provide details about what issues you encountered and what you're unsatisfied with? We are eager to help you resolve any concerns. Okay, uh, over here, the model is coming up with a response, which is good that it is uh, telling the customer about the policy, but it should also tell that the customer can cancel the subscription for future payments because subscription you pay uh, periodically, right? So at least the user should be able to cancel the subscription for future payments. So that information is missing over here. Now let's see the second response. 
थैंक यू फॉर रीचिंग आउट टू टेकी सपोर्ट आई अंडरस्टैंड यू विश टू कैंसल यू सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड रिक्वेस्ट अ रिफंड अ रिफंड पॉलिसी कैंसलेशन विद द फर्स्ट सेवन डेज और अनफॉर्चुनेटली सिंस इट हैज बी नाइन डेज सिंस यू परचेज यू आर एनेबल टू रिफंड कैंसल यू सब्सक्रिप्शन परफेक्ट यू कैन सी ओवर हर हाउ एवर यू कैन स्टिल कैंसल यूर सब्सक्रिप्शन टू प्रिवेंट एनी फ्यूचर चार्जेस दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्टेड सो दिस इज ग्रेट सो जी पी टी फोर ओ इज परफॉर्मिंग बेटर दैन जी पी टी फोर विच वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड ग्रेट आई एम हैप्पी टू हेल्प ना ओवर हर दिस इज जेमिन आई टू फ्लैश आई अंडरस्टैंड यू वुड लाइक टू कैंसल यूर सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड रिक्वेस्ट अ रिफंड ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू यर अकॉर्डिंग टू आर रिफंड पॉलिसी कैंसलेशन आर अलाउड विद इन द फर्स्ट सेवन डेज ऑफ परचेज एज यू परचेज वॉज नाइन डेज अगो इट फॉल्स आउट साइड ऑफ दिस विंडो हाउ एवर आई कैन स्टिल असिस्ट यू विद कैंसलिंग योर सब्सक्रिप्शन टू प्रिवेंट फ्यूचर चार्जेस to proceed with the cancellation please confirm your account details such as your account email or subscription id while a refund may not be possible at this time i recommend checking our terms of service for some more details or contacting our customer support team they will be able to provide further assistance and explore potential options so this is actually a better response now let's see the last response from uh, cloud 3.7 hello and thank you for reaching out to techies customer support i understand you would like to cancel a subscription and request a refund for a purchase made 9 days ago i appreciate you bringing this to our attention okay so i i really like this line because uh, first of all it started with a greeting and then uh, it also appreciated the user for bringing this to the uh, customer support attention which is more personalized and you know uh, better for user experience regarding your refund request i should clarify that a refund policy allows for cancellations with full refunds within the first 7 days of purchase Since your purchase was made nine days ago, it falls outside our standard refund window. However, I would like to help you with sub with your subscription cancellation. I can process the cancellation for a subscription immediately, prevent any future charges. While the standard refund period has passed, I can document your concerns about your service. May I ask, may may I ask what prompted your decision to cancel? Understanding your experience would help us improve our service, and in some cases, we may be able to make exceptions to our policy depending on the circumstances. so as you can see uh, gemini flash 2 and uh, gemini 2 flash and cloud 3.7 are performing a lot better than gpt4 and gpt4 o now i'm going to go ahead with these two now for from these two i'm also satisfied with gemini 2 flash so at this point of time i can compare the cost latency and number of tokens consumed over here you can see the output tokens consumed are more so i definitely definitely the cost will be higher than this one so as you can see it is uh, a lot higher and you can see the latency is also approximately 5 times of uh, the latency of gemini 2 flash for this uh, agent customer support agent i would not like to uh, invest a lot of money and uh, also the customer would not like to wait for a longer period of time so i might go ahead with gemini 2 flash based on this comparison that i've got for sure for the production you will not be just depending on one run you will be trying across multiple user inputs uh, you will be trying with multiple models and then you will be coming up with a decision but i hope this video help you to get an introduction of the maxim platform for prompt comparison feature and in future we will be bringing more videos like this to get started you can check out evals.new or you can also log on to the platform link given in the description thank you for watching this video and good luck for your ai journey